we found this area here. Uh, it is between about 25 and 30 meters wide. Going down, narrows in the center and then opens up again. So roughly, if you were to average it out, about 20 meters wide. Going down 100 meters. This is actually washing over waste rock. So all this rock you see here is waste rock. And I don't know if it's been transported. But it looks like there's berms up along the side here. In about a 100 meter by 20 meter wide area. And potentially 2 or 3 meters deep. So... The ground's frozen right now, but I did take a bunch of samples that I could dig out that looked like they had some mineralization. Got about 15 samples. A lot of them are smaller samples, just because they've been broken up, either making their way down or you have some finds that have washed over top. But there are a bunch of, of larger ones here as well that weigh a kilogram or two. So let's get to hammering. First couple small pieces here. Massive calcopyrite in one of the smaller samples. And then you had another small sample with stringers of calcopyrite and quartz. Let's take another one here. Calcopyrite in quartz. And here we go. Again, that's a nice sample. Very nice. Here's one that looks like it's already broken up. You got a bit of pyrite and calcopyrite there too. Another one. This is a bit of calcopyrite on the outside, and this is uh, massive sulfides right here. You have uh, galena, svalerite. This looks like your barite type mineralization. Calcopyrite. Just gonna hammer through all these quickly and see that one is not mineralized. Looks like quartz with some oxidation, a couple little specks of pyrite. Nothing in that one. There's calcopyrite in that too. A little bit of sphalerite. Again, your sphalerite, galena, pyrite, calcopyrite.
Nice band of Svalerite and Galena across there, and then on the top you have Calcopyrite.